Hey y'all, so I am coming to you guys back with another video. So, y'all, I have some bad news. So, I am going to be... Officially combing out my locks. Like, what? I was just talking to the hubs. I was telling him, like, I love my locks and everything, but at the same time, I feel like they are like too small. I wanted them a little bigger, and also I feel boyish. What? Like, I want to feel girlish again, so I'm gonna go ahead and comb out my locks. Like, I have started with this little piece right here. This one was already like, I cut this by accident. So I say I'm just going to start with this one. And it's going to take me like a few days to like take them all out. I, I don't know how many days, but y'all, I'm just ready to like start over and have a fresh set of hair again. Like, I'm just going to go ahead and take them out. Like, I've been debating for a while now if I wanted to keep them in or not. But one time before, I think it was like a couple months ago, like I dyed my hair back black. And in the middle of my head, it's been feeling like really thinnish. Like the hair is starting to grow back at the roots, but it's been feeling really thinnish. So I'm just gonna just go ahead and like comb them out. And I may start another journey, maybe like next year or so. But I only want like 40 locks. Like I wanted my locks like big, like Zyde locks. So I'm not going to comb hers out, but I know once she see mine, she might be like, Mommy, you know what? I want to take mine out too. But the hubs doesn't want her to take hers out right now until her hair gets a little bit longer. But y'all, I think it's time, like, it's time to just start over. Like, I miss wearing, like, my wigs. I miss getting, like, my braids done without having, like, the hassle of, like, the dreads showing through my braids and stuff like that. Like, I just want to get my hair done. I want to try different hairstyles again. So, y'all, this is going to be a sad vlog. Like, I didn't really want to cut them, but it's like they are just too small for, like, my liking. Like, I wanted them thicker. So, this is what this vlog is going to be about. I'm going to go ahead and start, finish taking out this one, and then I will come back to show you guys how it looks. So far, but yeah, y'all, this is what it is. The locks are leaving. So sad. So y'all, I have just said, forget it. I was going to like comb the locks out, but I was just like, man, you know what? Just forget it. And I just started snipping and I have some more snipping to go. I just came to show y'all how it looks after I snip them short, short. So I think I'm just gonna go to like the new growth and then snip it off from right there. But the locks are gone, y'all. Like these are all the pieces that I snipped and I have some more upstairs, but they are gone, y'all. So I guess I will show y'all how it looks once I snip it all off. I think I just need a fresh start. I never had a fresh start, so I am. Y'all, like, I'm just kind of happy that I'm getting it over with, but I feel so sad. Like, they are really gone. Dang. But new beginnings, y'all. So I will, like I said, I will do another set later, maybe like next year when it grows out a little bit. But I want them to be a lot thicker than they were this time. But I couldn't comb them out, y'all. So I just said, forget it. And don't judge me, y'all. Do not judge me. When y'all see this mini afro, when I get ready to cut the rest of them off. But they are almost gone, y'all. 
So, as you can see, like these little pieces right here, I still have more to cut, and I'm going to cut it to like the new growth. But I feel lighter already, y'all. I'm not going to put a relaxer or anything in it. I'm just going to like have my teeny wing afro again. Why does I keep laughing at me, y'all? But this is the afro. I'm about to. Get I'm so embarrassed, y'all, but I'm about to get ready to go get in the shower real quick and wash it. But I cut it pretty short. Like, I could still get some, some box braids or something, but this thing is short. Oh my God, y'all. <laughs> when Super P see me, y'all, he gonna be like, what in the world? What you think he gonna say? What you think he gonna say? I D. I was like, you bald-headed. <laughs> Kids. So I am going to be washing my hair with the Also oh Clean Moisturizing and Softening Shampoo. And then I'll go in with the In Control. And then I'll come back in with my leave-in conditioner. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in the shower real quick. And I'll see y'all once I get out. So this is how it looks after I put the quench on. Kind of like combed it down and back. But y'all don't have no hair. Hey y'all, so this is the next day and your girl has found one of her old wigs. I had this wig for like, I think I had this wig for going on like four years now. And I never got rid of it. I just washed it, conditioned it, brushed it out real good. This is a kinky curly wig that I bought a few years ago. I think it was probably like 230 or something like that. And it's like a, maybe like a 16 or 18 inch wig. So since your girl is officially not having locks anymore, I'm gonna be wearing more wigs and getting back to me, like the old me. Like I miss getting cute and all that good stuff. And your girl is gonna be back. So y'all look forward to seeing new hairstyles and all that good stuff, more braids, more wigs, all that good stuff. Like I am ready for it, y'all. Like even though I miss my locks, I am still ready for, I am still ready for what's in store for me as far as new hairstyles. Like it's been a long time coming. I had the lock since 2020, I had the locks. I decided to lock up. Uh, it was April, no, March, March 16th, 2020 is when I decided to go ahead and get locks and I had them all the way to now, 2023, so three years and like a month. So I think I did good. So basically we are going on a little, just a little mini vacay for Mother's Day weekend. Maybe do like a nice little dinner or something. And I told the hubs, I was like, I want to get cute like this Mother's Day. Like, I feel like with the locks, like I feel like I was just letting myself go. So I didn't want to let myself go. And I was tired of like feeling that way. Like I've been debating and I know you guys have been seeing in my recent videos where I've been asking you guys, do y'all think I should cut my locks or whatever? But it was just, it was just time y'all. Like, you know, when it's time when you get like fed up and like, you just want a new look or you just want to change. <laughs> But yeah, like I was saying, I just wanna go back to feeling like girly again. So when my hair starts to grow back out, then I will also take you guys along. I need to show you guys the process of growing your hair back after you basically cut it all off. So right now I have like a teeny weeny afro. It's about <laughs> maybe like this long right now. So at least when I get my wigs on, they'll be super flat because there's nothing to really break down or anything. I just have this clip on here. And this wig isn't glued down or anything. If you all can still see like my little lace right there and on the side, I just threw this wig on after I washed it. I still need to go to the store to get some um, lace glue and just glue this down myself. And I'll probably rock this for about a week or two just until I go get my hair down for Mother's Day. I'm still trying to decide on what type of hairstyle to get and yeah. What's going on? What you want? What you want? No. Put it on your ears. Let me put it on your ears. 
You want to be like that. Okay. Ready, buddy? Wait. 